are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. Vi facciamo vedere qualcosa che non abbiamo mai fatto. Che cosa si può mangiare viaggiando da punto A a punto B in Italia? Questa è la scelta. So we are currently in a motorway service station and this is actually the best one I've ever seen food wise. I've never seen such a great selection of vegetables, ready prepared dishes. I am aware that we haven't told you where we're going yet, but we'll get to that when we get there. And if you're in a hurry, you can just grab something from here, sandwiches, we can have breakfast still. And there's a bar down the end. So we were totally not expecting a decent meal in a service station, but this is what we've got. Not bad, eh? And there's also a sea view. So this is the service station balcony, where obviously you can eat when it's lovely and sunny. This is the view, and this is the Adriatic Sea. And we've just been told we're not allowed to take photos, so we're going to try and sneakily show you around a bit, because I thought it might be interesting for you to see what you can get in an Italian service station apart from the food. There's usually lots and lots of chocolate and sweets for your trips. So there's bis biscuits, cookies, chocolates, um, candies and things, lots of toys to keep the kids happy. Lots of wine, you can buy wine, pasta, any sort of like gift item food wise you can get. And you can also get cooking pots. So there's lots of terracotta cooking pots for sale here. So we are in Ancona. This is the view from our window. We actually spent the last two nights in a hotel down by the port and we've just moved. So we thought we'd give you a room tour. We didn't do it in the last place because it wasn't that great. Um, but this one's a little bit more interesting. So let me show you. This is the incredible view we've got. I can't wait to see what it looks like tonight. We have a little sofa there by the window and there's a nice simple desk here. A flat screen TV and this is the bed. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so where do I sleep? I'm going to be sleeping there apparently. So, <laughs> I presume you want an explanation. Please explain. <laughs> Oh, e sono in questa clinica privata per fare un piccolissimo intervento. Nothing to worry about. No, è una cosa proprio stupida. And però. besides, by the time you see this, it'll be done, all finished and over and done with, and we'll be back home, so. Sì, niente, calcolo serenale. Kidney stones. Kidney stones, yeah. 
tutto qua, un paio di giorni qua e poi andiamo via. Carlos had this problem for a while, the operation date came up, we've taken the chance to come and get it done, and unfortunately his doctor only operates in Ancona, which is a six hour drive from home. Vabbè, magari conosce un altro dottore mi operava a Napoli, ma va bene così perché Ancona è una bella città, noi abbiamo fatto un giro, ci piace andare in giro, ci piace filmare, quindi va benissimo così. <ride> No, no, questa è la sveglia che mi ricorda ah, di chiamare sì. mamma, non mi sta chiamando mamma. Okay. Ecco qua potete vedere, chiama mamma. Okay. La chiamo dopo. <ride> <ride> okay. So, yes, unfortunately in the last two days it has poured with rain the whole time we've been here. Today of course the day that we're checking into the hospital it's quite nice outside, <laughs> sì. but now we're stuck in here. I'm not sure if I'm allowed out, because obviously I had to have a COVID test before I was allowed in. And I don't know if I can go back out again now, but that's fine. I'm going to sit here, get a load of work done. We're going to be here for two nights. Avete visto un po' la stanza e dovete sapere che questa stanza uh, non è la stanza sua. L'abbiamo pagato per avere questa stanza. Se poi volete sapere quanto abbiamo pagato Uh, per avere una stanza privata che non in tutte le cliniche o gli ospedali si può avere e ho pagato 500 euro per due notti. So 250 a night and that's for a private room that you can have another person staying in the room with you with full board so I will get fed while I'm here. Sì, sì. mangiare. Sì, mangerai, no, mangerai, yeah. è tutto compreso so nel prezzo. So, it's all included in the price. Okay. So, the two options were that he, he was on a ward with other people and then I could only visit him for 15 minutes a day, which is not ideal. I didn't know what I was going to do rattling around Ancona by myself for two days. And he probably would get bored and eat the company. So, we decided we would pay for the private room and now we're both here and we can just annoy each other. Sì. No, amore. Ciao, amore, dopo. Ciao, ciao. Questo infermiere, cazzo, c'era anche 25 anni. Cioè, da noi sono decisamente più vecchi gli infermieri. How are you feeling? Ah, io sto molto bene, ho fame però, sono digiuno da stamattina, per me è tanto. And unfortunately he's still not allowed to eat anything, and at this point my dinner has arrived. So for dinner I now have um, soup, it's like a vegetable soup, I can't remember what, um, some mixed vegetables and some chicken. I've got a wholemeal bread roll and another apple. Sinceramente, sono, sono geloso. <laughs> Oh, you. Oh. No, fame. Dai. Alla fine questo intervento è niente, ma stare a digiuno dalla mattina per me è tanta, è tanta roba. È buona. Sì. Thank you. Your first meal after more than 24 hours. Almost sì. 48 hours, isn't it? Sì. Yeah. So what have you got? Pastina? Mm -hmm. Non mi piace. Non so <laughs> Pure di patate, buono. Okay. Pollo? Mm -hmm. And the classic, I remember this from when I had Sky, boiled apple. <laughs> Looks horrible. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Mine's over here. I have got... A bit more exciting though, cannelloni, chicken, salad with olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt, fresh fruit and bread. Ho capito bene cannelloni. Yeah, I've got cannelloni. <laughs> Do you want one? Perché cannelloni a te la pastina a me? Yeah. We're waiting to be let out. Everybody else is gone. We seem to be on our own in the hospital ward now. Sì, sono tutti andati via. Questo è un ospedale dove tutti quanti fanno velocemente, fanno l'operazione e via, a casa. È andato tutto benissimo, ho avuto un po' di dolore, 
e le bravissime infermiere mi hanno fatto <ride> mi hanno fatto una siringa ieri e un'altra stamattina e appena me la fanno passa tutto e non sono preoccupato per quando sarò a casa un po' di dolore è normale dopo anche una piccola operazione va bene così I've put this hat on because it is very windy today. I hope you can hear me okay. It's a very, very wild day here and we thought we'd show you around. I'm just on my way down to Carla's parents for lunch. They've invited me. Carlos, Sky and Tommaso are currently in Milan. They're flying to Prague tonight and they've left me here alone with the doggies and this weather. Elizabeth is down on the beach. I think she's just filming a little bit for us. And oh yes, look at those waves. Hold on, let me show you this. That is uh, Positano sometimes in the winter, this morning uh, rough sea, direction is uh, in this moment southwest, the name is Lipeccio, this morning early southeast and the name was uh, Scirocco, now Lipeccio and later come from uh, the west, the west side. We are open to south and from south come the, the wind that move the waves, yeah? Uh, lucky we have this bad weather just in winter time, not in summertime. In summertime is quiet. This summer we have a very beautiful and long summer with uh, uh, calm water. This morning we go, uh, this morning early we go on the beach. Uh, we take off the boat from the beach and we put in a cover place, safety place. Ah, this is the sea, sometimes beautiful, sometimes like right now, we must respect, experience and respect are the first law of the sea. Take a look where our info desk normally would be and how rough the sea is. We could never ever be here in winter time. So this is the reason why we have to finish work. So this is where the restaurant area is. The Tresorelle, the stairs up to church. And this is where we always have breakfast. La pergola, you can imagine how rough the sea got this morning, it was incredible and this is where we put the little boats to be safe and Nikki and Carlos
Elizabeth and Pepe have been down to the beach and just shown you around. It's a bit of a mess down there. I think I'm just going to stay up. I don't think I'm going to go down. It has actually stopped raining at the moment, but it could start again at any point. Ah, troppo fagiolo. Qualche fagiolo va bene, ma non. And there's a thunderstorm arriving, so that also means there's a power cut. Luckily, they have an emergency light here. Nonna is fixing his little bathroom curtain there. Anyway, I've had a great lunch, but I think we're going to head home with dogs while it's not raining. Weirdly, the sun has come out. It's stopped raining. It's supposed to be raining all day long, but it's actually quite bright now. This is always one of the things that I say I love about Italy, is that it's colourful in the winter on a grey, miserable day. Look at all of these colours. There's always Bougainvillea out somewhere. This bougainvillea is lovely, this red one. And then all these autumny leaves. And then these flowers up here. Random grapefruits that have fallen off. That tree up there. But it is to be noted that the islands are currently hardly visible, which probably means that there's rain in between here and there. So I'm gonna keep walking. You may, all, you may also notice that I'm now hatless. I have managed to lose my hat <laughs> between here and Carla's parents' house. I don't know what I did with it. I haven't got it anymore, can't find it. It's not in the kitchen there. It's not on the street anywhere. So no hat. And the next day, the sun is out again and the clear up is beginning. Whenever we show a heavy rainfall or a rough sea, a sunny day in November, or a sudden storm in August, we get asked if it's normal to have weather like that. The weather in Italy is full of extremes, and here on the Amalfi Coast, the storms are violent, the thunder is extra loud, the rains come pouring down the mountain after months of sun, causing sudden floods and mudslips. The sea can suddenly get rough and devour the beach, drenching the restaurants and dumping sand in the piazza. We don't get frost here, but occasional snowflakes can fall and cover the tops of the mountains. So I don't know if I explained earlier on, but I'm actually here alone at the moment. Carlo, Sky and Tomas have gone to Prague for a father and child break. So he's controlling Indy, she's playing with another dog there. <laughs> um, so I'm here all alone. Now yesterday the weather was so bad, you saw a bit of it from Elizabeth down on the beach and me up at Carla's parents' house. When I got home, the phone line had cut out, there was no internet, there was no electricity, and it went on and off all afternoon and all evening long. So it was a very, and it poured and poured with rain all night long. There were thunderstorms, Holly was terrified. So I spent all night sitting in candlelight, not being able to do much apart from read, which was actually lovely. Um, comforting Holly and woke up this morning and it's all absolutely beautiful. So I thought we'd come down here, let Indy, um, just say it in English, burn off some energy and have a nice walk on the beach and we'll go home again later this afternoon.
Hello. Hello. What are you doing? Um, I'm finding the stuff for uh, closing the swimming pool. Oh, oh. It's a sad day. Yeah, it's very sad. Uh, in reality, I um, need to fix it this month ago, but it's okay. It's sad because it's winter now. Yeah, we should have closed the pool a month ago, but the reason we didn't is because Tanya and Adam came to stay and we knew they'd be filming, so we didn't want a big plastic thing here to ruin their videos. Then as soon as they left, Carlo got the call to go to hospital in Ancona. So we had to go there for a few days and straight away, literally the day after we got back from Ancona, he went to Prague. Why did he go to Prague straight after an operation? Because <laughs> To go to Prague is uh, um, programmed before the surgery, and then uh, the surgery things is uh, arrive. Cosidice improvvisamente. The hospital phoned five days before they wanted him to be there, so it was very last minute the little operation that he had. So that's just the way it worked out. Quindi appena uscito l'ospedale abbiamo fatto giusto in tempo per. Uh, per viaggiare tu Prava. He had one day at home and then they left the next morning. Yeah. And they have filmed a lot. Il tuo video di Prague, quanto è lungo? No, no in, in reality is is not enough for uh, uh, two video. It's, okay. It's 12 video. Or maybe... Well, just do one long video. Yeah, or just... I haven't seen any of it, but he's been no. editing every night this week. His, this is his job. He gets to do this. Yes. <laughs> uh, don't as expect it. Wait. Oh, I didn't expect. Yeah. I want to say, don't expect uh -huh. a video like you do. Uh, don't wait for a video like I do them, because this is their video, not my yeah. video. So it's it'll be my different. video is different. It's uh, <laughs> I'm not at the height of your videos. Oh, come on. So it's yeah, not yeah. as professional as my videos. But... Yeah, but I'm still less professional than you. So... Okay, he's less professional than me now making videos. Okay. But he's learning, and this is really good learning experience. So the Prague video will be ready at some point in the next week and we will put it out maybe next Sunday um, with a couple of Vlogmas videos during the week. So I hope you've enjoyed this a slightly different video. Thank you very much for watching. Very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> so next week we're going to go Ready and... The phone. One minute. Oh my God. Allora, c'è una cosa che... Ho una richiesta per voi. Se potete... Chi non è ancora iscritto, si iscrivi così vediamo se arriviamo a 200.000 per Natale o giù di lì. Sarebbe carino, ok? Please subscribe and enjoy for, with this video. Bye bye!